Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, I'll explain the option rack joint in CATIA V5 DMU kinematics. What does this command do? By this option, how can we simulate parts? For that, I call parts into kinematics workbench, insert existing component, select product. already created parts I open parts this is a gear wheel which has to rotate on the rack I again go to insert existing component product I call another part I move this part by using compass which has a teeth on this part then insert existing component component select product third part I call I keep the part at the end, reset compass, I move this gate teeth also, like this I keep, view, go to reset compass, see this should be fixed, the shaft should be fixed and this gear wheel will roll on this rack by this gate teeth. Then we need to assemble this uh, uh, gear wheel onto this uh, rack and uh, cylindrically we, in, we need to coincide uh, this uh, shop to this uh, gear wheel hole for that and this line need to connect for a prismatic joint for a line contact a line is created this line belong to this part only see i right click on that part i open the separate part see here just i took a line exactly we need to calculate the space uh, the distance between the center of this shaft and to this line and this line uh, should coincide onto this edge of this rack because by going into prismatic sorry rack joint in this we need, we need to use the combination of prismatic and revolute joint revolute joint for the shaft and the gear wheel prismatic joint for the shaft and this rack so for prismatic joint we need to select two edges two lines two edges or two lines in that case as it it hasn't got a straight edge as this shaft has not has no uh, straight edge for that I took this line whereas it has an edge straight edge and surface so first we need to fix the part by going into new mechanism fixed part new mechanism you need to fix this shaft then that is fixed then go for rack joint rack joint here prismatic joint we have a prismatic joint option go for create create line 1 and line 2 line 1 and line 2 so uh, prismatic joint for this rack part and the shaft line 1 and line 2 for prismatic joint lines we need to select edge or line so as this part is having edge then I can select that edge then here for this part we can't select the axis as it has to coincide for that I created a line while creating this this part which is shaft then I select the edge 
which is included in this part then plane 1 this front surface plane 2 is a soft front surface then go for okay now see the line coincided to this edge and the surface of the shaft coincide to the front surface of the rack then coming into revolute joint create here also line 1 you can simply select this gear wheel whole axis line 2 S center of the shaft axis plane 1 I select this front face of the gear wheel plane 2 select the front face of the gear wheel then then I go for ok see it comes like this uh, a revolute joint is applied for the shaft on the gear wheel now we go to simulation option select mechanism then go for ok then I move this see like this uh, it, rota it rotates and moves along the length of the rack reset you can increase uh, the length as it is here 100 mm I open this I enter 300 mm then I go for ok then I move this bar then I go for insert I reduce the speed play see like this to and fro if it want to rotate if we want to rotate a to and fro motion then select this loop second option play see like this to increase speed we can change here see like this we can change so this is about our rack joint in dmu kinematics ketia v5 thank you for watching this video for more videos share and subscribe imperial care system